Hey y'all, it's Julian from Off The Block Apparel, coming to you with a new video. Um, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and hit the like button, also leave comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Also, tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe as well. Um, without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. So this video is, um, is pretty much, um, I've been posting, those that follow me on uh, Instagram, and those that don't, you can follow me at off the block underscore pearl. Um, everything spelled the correct way. Um, I've been I've been doing a lot of sublimation, sublimating on socks, um, things like that. Um, uh, and I've also been been using the white glitter and sublimating on right on top of that, putting it on sweatshirts, stuff like that. Um, for you know, custom birthday shirts, um, just custom shirts in general that has like a full color um, logo or something like that. You know, um, little girls, they like uh, they like the LOL surprise thing. They like different things like that. You know, um, birthday shirts, whatever it is. Um, that's so I just wanted to do something different that you really don't that you really don't see a lot of. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I do, how I do it and, and, and how to go about doing it. So. Um, the first thing, the first thing I, the first thing you need to do, you need to get your design made and created. I use Silhouette Studio. I use the Silhouette um, program. Uh, I cut off of the Cameo. Um, for this to work, you have to have uh, white glitter and a sublimation printer. The sublimation printer I have is a Sawgrass 800. Um, that's what I use. Um, now. With that being the case, um, so with that, you have, once you get all of that done, you know, the size and things like that, you're going to, you're going to out, you're going to offset the image. Um, once you get the image, you're going to trace that image. Um, when you trace it, what you're doing is you, you, so you're tracing it so that you can offset it so that you're able to cut the glitter just the outside of it. So basically it'll look just like this. Once it's cut, I had already pre like pre did this already. Um, but this is what the glitter looks like on the shirt. Now that's just the outline of the image that I'm going to be putting on here. Um, as you can see, whenever you are, uh, pressing glitter and using glitter, um, you want to heat, but you want to press it at about, I say 320, for about 10, 15 seconds. Um, you can peel hot, but it says to peel cold. I peel hot and I peel cold. It just all depends. Um, neither one is messed up or anything like that, but just do what works for you. I do what works for me, you know, but um, uh, so with that, once that's on there, I printed my image out. Um, I printed my image out. Um, so this is the image that I'm that I'm going with right here. That's the image. As y'all can see, Black Santa. Um, so what I do is I wanna I wanna line this up onto onto the on top of the glitter. Like and now this is the part where where you have to you have to really I guess take your time to make sure you line it up right um, so that the majority of the picture is cover so that majority of the picture is on the glitter you don't want more you know a little bit yeah so that's why i offset it and maybe a quarter inch or a half an inch just to give me a little bit of wiggle room when trying to place the the image on top of it so then we line it up now this paper is not see-through so you really can't see through it so you got to go from the sides and the edges so once you get Basically, what I do is I start at one side, then I go to the bottom, and I see what that looks like, and then after that, I go to the other side and see what that looks like, you know, and mainly, and and, when, and basically, when, it, when I'm doing it like this, I can get the right... I can get exactly where everything needs to be lined up at. If, if I got it all the way around. So I got that all the way around. 
Now, remember, this stuff takes practice. Like, this isn't something that I learned to do overnight or nothing like that. I just kept practicing and trying. You know, that's what I did. You want to use heat transfer tape. Now, this tape, you can tape onto your garment. It's not going to affect your garment, nothing like that. Um, it's not going to affect anything. I use that so that the paper stays in place, so it doesn't move anywhere. Now, when you are um, sublimating anything, most of the time, it's going to be at 400 degrees, um, the temp, and it's going to be for 30 seconds. So what we're about to do is we're going to we're going to press that down for the 30 sec for the full 30 seconds, and then we're going to bring it up, and then you'll see how it looks. Um, another thing, so another thing, like when whenever you in the so those that use uh, Cameo, you you should know what the offset key is and the trace uh, key and things like that. Um, because you're going to use those. That, that's pretty much the two main functions you're going to use when doing this. Because you're going to need to trace the image. And also you're going to need to offset the image in order to get that that right. That, that, that you, want, you, you want to get enough space in between of the image so that you have enough space to, to, to position it and things like that. Hopefully we did a good job positioning it. You know, this is, you know... This is how it is, you know, we gotta do what we do. So we're gonna go down for the 30 seconds. And it doesn't have, and it's, and this isn't even, it, it can be like a firm press. It doesn't really have to be um, a real hard press when you're doing sublimation also. Um, it's really simply like you, you, you're able to push it down and pull it up with, without a lot of force. You don't need a lot of force for this because it's all about the heat, truthfully. Um, and once the heat is that hot, you know, it's going to go right on to it. But it's got to be white glitter, white, white Caesar glitter. Or the glitter I'm using right now is from my, my man, James, um, over at Econo Transfer. So you might want to go check him out. Econo Transfer, go check him out. Um, he has some really good stuff. And that's who this glitter is, that I'm using right now is through as well. So we got we got the image done. I'm, I know y'all can probably see it from the screen, but I'm gonna give y'all a better view of it. Um, so everything lined up pretty good. Like I said, um, you know, everything is not always perfect how I want it, but to someone else, they may not see certain things of it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this came out. I am happy with how this came out because if I wasn't happy, I would do it over again because that's just me. I'm like somewhat of like a perfectionist when I'm doing this because it's like I want it to be great. I want to I want the customer who I'm making it for. I want them to be like, oh, this is great, you know, um, and I want I want that to be a referral like, hey, go to off the block apparel. He does great shirts. He does this, does that. I like I, I want to like that's what's important to me, the, the interaction with the customer. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm I pray I just cut out. Um, it's like my brand. My only competition is me. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's my only competition is me. This is also a hoodie I did. And this is what a six layer shirt, six layer color shirt, and this is all vinyl. Um, I had the white underlay, and then I have you know all the neon colors on top. Um, and I did this hoodie also. Um, so I just wanted to put my signature uh I'm trying to figure out a good place to put it but i guess we'll uh, i guess we'll put it like i guess we'll put it at the bottom i guess that's a good spot you know it's not just something small to put on there um and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a teflon sheet because again i don't have to press this but for a second i'm gonna use a teflon sheet just so that um it protects it so it doesn't mess up the glitter or nothing like that, even though it won't, but I'm gonna just use a Teflon sheet, but I'm only gonna press this for like two seconds. One, two. Because like I said, the press is already at 400 degrees. So, you know, normally when, you, when you're pressing um, any, any vinyl, especially that sort of vinyl right there, that's gonna be uh, heated at uh, 305 for 15 seconds. I got it at 400, so we only needed a second for the go on to the shirt. Now, with that being said and done, we're all finished. And this is what the shirt looks like. 
I don't know if you can see how it shines in there. Uh, and you see how I put my, my logo on the side of it. It was, it was a nice little spot for it to go. Uh, probably could have went a few places, but I just wanted to place it somewhere, you know, not too big, not too small. But you see how it shines on it. Um, if you want to see exactly how it looks, I'm going to I'm going to post this on my Instagram. So you can go on the Instagram off the block underscore pearl. Check it out. Um, stay uh, turn your alerts on because I'm going to be uh, doing more videos. Uh, so you know what I'm doing them on different things. Um, like I do socks, like this is a pair of socks I just did. Um, I did another, I did more socks, uh, here. This is on the, this is on the toe of the sock right here. And then it, then it also has something on the top part of the sock. You really can't see it. Um, but on my Instagram, you can check out my Instagram and I have a lot of stuff up there that I've done, um, just this week, just yesterday, just today. Um, I had a Grinch shirt also like this, and that's on my Instagram, so check that out. Um, it's been fun, y'all, man. I, I'm still getting at the hang of making videos. I'm just learning to just go with the flow, and everything ain't gonna be perfect, you know. Um, but don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave comments, um, whether it's in my DM on Instagram or on here, because I check all of it. Um, and tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Um, and that's all, y'all. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all learned some stuff. Um, next time, I guess I'll try to go step-by-steps tutorial or something like that. I try to. Um, but for the most part, you know, I think we accomplished what we set out to do today. Um, y'all have fun. Hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all later. Peace.